is that, the baby? I'll see if I can grab a trash bag under here. Oh! <gasps> reached about three, four months old. Very, very happy. Will they eat dragon fruit? The baby eats dragon fruit and dies? Oh, good morning, everybody. This is my bedroom. As you can see, I just had fish for breakfast. Take a look at this. Do you see that? I discovered something today. It's Furcho Friday. Look at these adorable little babies. I filled this water up yesterday at noon, and it is noon the following day, and there is just no poop in there. And this either means one of two things. A, they're not eating, or B, they are pooping somewhere else. My pumpkin's growing in, and also I got these little plants here. I guess these are annuals that came from last year, but one of my pumpkins survived. But check this out, you guys. I was right. I know they're eating a ton because that's all food for them, but look at this. There's just a massive pile of poop here that's next to the water. I cured their cringe pooping habits. And because of all the rain we've been getting, the grass is actually growing back in green here too. But boy, do I have a surprise for you guys today. New foods for Furcho Friday that these fellas have never tried before. And they are going to be very, very happy in a short period of time. But look at that, you guys. There's no poop even around this. Just right there. Come on, Gordon Quandale. This is a dragon fruit. It's an old rotten one. Take a look at it. If they like this, I'll give them a bigger one inside. What do you think? Oh, they like it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring these boys inside. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and feed these cringe ah uh -uh boys. Look how big Homelander is getting. All of my babies are growing up so fast. And they just keep getting bigger and bigger. But it's 60 degrees and rainy today. It went down to 55 at midday. Thankfully, these guys are all older than three months old now. So they're gonna be fine for much colder weather than this even. But I still worry about my babies because they were so fragile just a few months ago. You guys remember me saying that rat tights have really high mortality rates whenever they're babies. Now that they've reached about three, four months old, they are much, much more hardy. And if they don't have any issues like curled toes or splayed legs still, they're going to be really hardy. It takes a lot to kill these guys, but freezing rain can kill them. So we need to get them under shelter eventually before it starts to get really cold. Good morning, Cabo. Well, all this grass is also food for them and it's growing in just about everywhere here now because of the rain. They do have some shelter from the rain under this tree, but not a lot. Look at this little piglet. And as soon as that new building is going to be put up right here, we're also going to make a little tree house right in there you guys and that could be fun and all this fresh wet grass is also excellent food for them also as a near adult kangaroo the baby is also really enjoying this weather because it brings all the grass up for him to eat all of our grazing animals really love having fresh wet grass because it's a lot more palatable i believe also they get all that moisture from the grass and they drink it oh oh, ow, oh. boy you about to kiss me well, he just did he just grabbed me right around the leg he's becoming a dirty fighter he's getting ready to fight jake paul well, this man actually stands up he is now chest tight with me. Such a beautiful baby boy. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you guys still think that having a kangaroo is dangerous? This man could not hurt a fly. Look at him. One of my favorite things about the baby is his little red neck here. That's why they call him red kangaroos. You see that? Especially when he puts his neck back like that, you can see it very, very well. Have you been getting rained on today, the baby? Oh, these kids sure do grow up fast, don't they, guys? This morning I went back and, oh, what is that? What is that, the baby? What is that down there? This morning I went back and watched some old TikToks from when he was just a little bean and when Poggers was a little bean and it was kind of hard to watch. These boys grow up so quickly it's not even funny. He went from being a tiny little doorknob sack boy to being this big strong man that can pull me around. But he's still got a long way to go before he can fight Jake Paul in the ring November 23rd 2013. 23 sorry. Oh looks like we got a little egg in there. Nugget's doing well. She's the last of our Rhode Island Reds that I haven't rehomed. Looks like Kanye somehow got stuck in here. Kind of cringe. How did you get stuck in here, boy? You can get out of here easily. Look, get out of there. I really need to just take a sawzall and cut this thing up and throw it away. I'll probably end up doing that the same day that we get rid of all of this fencing. Our contractors pushed back the delivery date a few weeks for this, so hopefully we're gonna get that building soon, but it's gonna take a little while. The grass is finally growing in here, and these ponds are full. Whoa, the baby. Realistically, you guys, I'm gonna have to go ahead and get all the rat tights and move them over here until I can get a larger structure up because this winter they are going to need at least some kind of three four-sided shelter and for the most part that should be perfect for them hey the baby how about you stop grabbing on me little man every day i like to scatter some feed for the chickens here and believe it or not we still have a chick that's a natural hatch here all the grass in here is growing back super well this is where we're going to be moving the ostrich chicks to eventually pond is still green but the rain has kept it pretty fresh and we have an owl visiting us today that or it's some kind of falcon i'm not entirely sure i know it's definitely a raptor this is the closest i've ever been able to get to one look at him oh there he goes he's probably myron my beehive on a day like today the bees like
like to just kind of hunker down and not get too active. They just like me for real. <laughs> Pretty soon our backfield is going to be green as well. I don't have anything in the coyote trap. And now that I led Kanye and these piglets out to pasture, I can go ahead back inside now and tend to the cappy. But ideally when all these ponds are full, this whole property is going to be perfect and I'm never going to need to worry about water. Eat up children. Oh, is that hit rapper and artist a baby? And I suppose Kevin is not aggressive today. Because it's cooler, the prairie dogs are burrowing more and they've decided to burrow into every area of the barn. This has become their poop area. Now this entire area is essentially just food and shelter for them. Also, I think Cringe just likes to kind of be by himself over here in the corner. Would you like to be reunited with your husband, Mrs. Ounce? Hey, is that Kevin? Whoa, is that baby Poppy? Kevin, you found Poppy's long lost son. Come here, child. Baby Poppy is also getting much, much bigger. And she's very healthy. But she did just fart in my face. Also, I'm going to try something very new today, guys. I'm going to invite these clappies to walk right into my home. I'm a little nervous because this is the first time I've ever trusted them to do this. Honestly, I think getting them to go from here to the house might be kind of tricky. I'm going to have to coax them somehow. But this is why God made dragon fruit. No, no, Kanye, no, you're being cringe. Stop it, you're being cringe, Kanye. This is the first time these two have ever interacted, though. That's neat. He had never met them prior to today. Come on, children, try the dragon fruit. You're being cringe, Gore. I think these guys are now officially big enough to where I could just let them free range the entire property. They seem to be more enamored with the tall grass than the dragon fruit. And Kanye's just over here eating all their hay. Okay, now they walk. Maybe this was a bad idea. Come on inside, children. They seem to care more about the grass than they do coming inside. Poggers and Queen are still under my home per usual. Hello, Mr. Pogger. What are you doing? under there and one of the cappies is just gone just kidding there it is okay gordon quandale are now at large for some reason i'm probably gonna need to just go ahead and catch him okay we got one of them back now we just need to get quandale in there well they aren't quite ready to free range yet but that was fun i was chasing them so i could catch them and this one jumped in the pool but this fellow was very polite i'm gonna be honest guys it's getting hard to tell which one's which they lost that little mole and that was the only way i could tell but i suppose that's okay but if I did have to guess, I would say this one was Quandale and then this one is Gore. Do you forgive me for catching you, Quandale? It's funny how quickly they calm down after I sit down with them. And they do prefer to be inside, I think, especially on a cold day like today. But look at them scratching. Okay, guys, the moment of truth. Will they eat dragon fruit? Okay, they seem to be eating the little green bits. He's got a little bump on his nose from outside. Okay, they seem to be enjoying it. Maybe they only need one. Don't mind me. I'm just staring at you eating some food, sir. Okay, he seems to be going for the cut one. Go ahead, children, give it a try. Okay, they do like it. This reminds me of the first time they ate an apple. They were really hesitant at first, and then they just started devouring it. If you guys don't know, dragon fruits are basically kiwis. They taste pretty good, but I wouldn't say they're the best fruit you can eat. But they are definitely, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful ones. But they don't seem to be as interested anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and bring in Big Ounce. Okay, Big Ounce doesn't seem too interested in the dragon fruit right off the bat. He just wants to sit on his chair. Oh, there he goes. He's starting to sniff it. What do you think, little man? Right off the bat, he really doesn't seem to care for it all that much either. Well, I'll see if I can grab a trash bag under here. <gasps> Perhaps baby Ploppy would care for a small treat. What do you think, Ploppy? Big Al, stop being so cringe. This man has been cringe as of late. Baby Ploppy might be a little bit scared of the cappies, but obviously they're nothing for her to worry about. Big Al may try to open mouth kiss her, which could be potentially a bit dangerous. Oh, showing a little bit of interest there. And Poppy is just shrinking away from the situation entirely. Here, Ploppy, go ahead and try the fruit. Nothing eats dragon fruit? Okay, today we learned that most of these animals do not care for dragon fruit, but they will nibble on it. I think if the Cappies hadn't have grazed for the last 20 minutes, they'd probably be eating it. But at least they're not starving. Well, I suppose we'll take these extras and see if the other animals will. Queeb, would you like some dragon fruit? Here you go, Queen. I know your cringe ah uh -uh is eating sweet potatoes. You don't want it? Queen, eat it. Eat some of the dragon fruit. Just take the meat. Let's see if she'll just eat the meat. No, not even the meat. Kevin, would you like some dragon fruit? Hoppers, would you like some dragon fruit? I suppose I'll give the rest of this to Remington. Okay, fat 
So let's try this one on for size. Ew, look how muddy they are. Okay, pigs do like dragon fruit. She just annihilated that thing. Here you go, buddy. Go ahead and eat that. Wow, look at him go. Pigs will eat anything. They have about the same palates as we do. But I am surprised that the Cappies didn't eat theirs like this. Man, they are so happy here with all this mud. Look how fat she is. But even this baby Piggerton doesn't seem to care for this. I guess we still have one more fella. The baby eats dragon fruit and dies? Whoa, is that the baby? What do you think, sir? Give it a try. Just give it a little nibble. Come on. Man, he really didn't want nothing to do with this dragon fruit. Oh, look at this cringe little piglet. All right, guys, I guess the only thing that really likes dragon fruit is an adult pig a pog look at this little man pooping even this little mini hamilton doesn't want any kind of cringe tba all right guys that's it thanks so much for watching my video i love you i appreciate you don't forget to go into the comments and say wow uncle ben this cured my depression i'm gonna like this video and support you You're welcome for curing your depression with this video i do love you all thank you for being here and i'll see you in the next oh almost forgot to tell you also the cats live under my bed now